Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're all okay. Um, sorry for the slight delay. I was just trying to promote me on the social media networks. Try and get some people in here. I'll try to entice them. See if it works. Probably won't. Um, but we'll see. Hope you're all okay. Just wait a few minutes before I start progressing. Just... Uh, Already promoted on other Facebook groups. I just gotta see if there's any more before I carry on. Uh, that one maybe. All right, there we go. That'll do. How are we all today? Are we all having a nice day. How is Josh? Is Josh already here? Oh, no, there's two people in there. Hello. Hello to you lovely lot on Twitch. Feel free to say hello in the chat. I wonder if any of my regulars will be here today. Soon find out. Oh, sorry, this is my offline Reading save. I haven't... Uh... There we go. We'll load up the Barcelona one. Don't want to confuse everyone. This is the Barcelona save so don't panic oh i uh, just realized my webcam is not on as well so we'll just do this hopefully you can see me there we go there we go right we're all set up so uh, let's crack on we've got garona or Girona, however you pronounce it oh that's annoying. We've failed an objective. I just assumed we were supposed to just get through to the final 16. That might risk us losing a job. We better win the league title then. Hope we all had a nice weekend. I had a nice relaxing weekend. I saw my mates for a bit on Saturday and then spent the rest of the weekend with my lovely girlfriend. Uh, we went to, we went and did a bit of shopping on Sunday and then we come back, we watched it, we watched the wrestling um, and then we chilled out for a bit before we went to bed. We went to bed fairly early. When she stays around mine, I go to bed. She, gets, she has to get up early for work, so... I tend to go to bed the same time as her and get up the same time as her, so it just doesn't completely ruin my sleep pattern. And then that means I can get all my stuff done early and then I've got the rest of the day to myself then before she gets back from work. But anyway, I'm here now with you, with you lovely lot. So first game of the stream, we've got Tostigan in goal, Cancelo is right back, Arujo and Martinez in defence with Mika Faye as left back, Gavi and Elax in midfield with Ferran Torres, Pedri in the middle, Alacorn on the left, and Rike Roque. So it'll be a fairly rotated team here by the looks of it. Hopefully we'll have enough in, in the locker to beat them. Um, they are 18th in the league at the moment, so we should beat them in theory. We're only one point ahead of Real Madrid, but we've got a game in hand. So as long as we keep winning, we'll be alright. All right. Just gonna quickly message my mate Josh. Uh, I'll just wait for this highlight to finish first. All right, just bear with me. All right, I'm just letting her know I'm in here, so he'll be with us in a minute, probably. Depending on how busy he is. If you have been watching me previously on Twitch or you like the videos I'm producing on YouTube, please feel free to. Sorry, I'm just fixing my phone. Please feel free to um, send a message in Twitch. Let me know. Um, I've had I've, I've not had many comments in the videos on YouTube yet. Good little goal there by Torres, but probably won't be allowed. VAR will check it. Um, my Rafe Rover series is picking up steam now. We're getting quite uh, quite a few people. We're getting a few people watching it, and they're watching it quite a lot of it. So the watch the watch time's gone up massively, which is great. So I really appreciate that.
Right, Torres is injured, so he's coming on. Pocho, Lucas, Roman is coming on. So quite a few of our young players starting this game. Um, Deli Ali will probably come on. All right, Josh. Uh, don't get me started on SmackDown. I was gutted. Oh, poor Cody. You could see Cody Rose was cut off. You could see his genuine was upset. And The Rock was trying to console, console him, but it wasn't really working, was it? I know, I know, I know what you're saying, but you know what? Why couldn't they have just done the Rock versus? Ah, I suppose it's WrestleMania 40, isn't it? They, it'd be better to do it WrestleMania 40 than WrestleMania 41, maybe. What I think they should do is our Roman versus the Rock at the night one, um, and then have the winner face Cody at night two. I think that's the fair way to do it. The likelihood is it's all a storyline. They're trying to they're trying to get. Cody Rose, the Daniel Bryan reaction, but it just feels so forced. I think it's going to backfire on them and they're going to end up like killing the momentum Cody's got with the fans. Yeah, but it's not it's not becoming world champion. It's become it's be it, he he's the one that needs to beat Roman Reigns for the title. It it can't be The Rock. It can't be CM Punk. It needs to be Cody Rhodes. Him winning the title, um, the other title versus Seth Rollins ain't going to mean as much. Ooh, nearly. Ugh, I can't believe we're drawing this game. Then again, luckily, I think Real Madrid's drawing their game. Ugh. Yeah, so the story is is Cody winning the Rumble again and then this time going on to finish the story by beating Roman Reigns for the title. Him not having the title shot at WrestleMania doesn't make sense. The whole point of, of people being in the Royal Rumble is to get the guaranteed title shot at WrestleMania. It's up to them which one they want to wrestle for, but yeah, it's a bit it's a bit of a shitter. I think I can understand why fans are not happy about it. You you'll get you'll get 50 50, 50 won't you? 50 50 percent people will be happy that the Rock's wrestling, and they're gonna get a big match, Rock versus Roman Reigns, and then fifty percent will will want Cody to win the title. So you're not gonna make every, you're not gonna make everybody happy. There's always gonna be people not happy. Yeah, but Josh, the whole point of it is he he does the whole point of it is he doesn't want like him wrestling Seth Rollins. They've already done that, so there's no point. And also, I know it's for the title, but it's like there's no... The the main match is supposed to be Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. But I understand why they're doing Roman Reigns versus The Rock from a business point of view. So, I can see something definitely happening for night two. <sighs> I can see them definitely doing a surprise or something. Yeah, it's two nights, so anything can happen. Plus, they've got the Elimination Chamber. They might do something there where Cody somehow, I don't know, gets a chance to win the title. I mean, I think, personally, they should have Rock versus Roman Reigns on night one, have Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sequoia on night one. If he beats Solo Sequoia on night one, he gets to go against Roman for the title the next night. They could do something where Solo injures Cody Rhodes or something, and then Roman Reigns beats The Rock and he's all cocky against Cody. And then Cody comes back, wins the match, wins the title. Everybody's happy. We get to see The Rock versus Roman. We get to see Cody win. I don't understand why they can't do that. Yeah, Rock Roman versus Rock, and then Roman versus Cody Night Two. Yeah, yeah. Rock, the, the Rock has no reason to beat Roman Reigns. He's not. He's got. He's not. He's not got anything to gain from winning. Because he can't. He can't defend the title because he can't wrestle that much. There's no point.
Tonight, tonight's Raw will be interesting. Is it tonight's Raw or have we already had Raw? What day is it today? No, it's Monday today, yeah. Tonight's Raw will be interesting. See where they go with Cody. Cody's facing Nakamura in a bull rope match. So I don't know whether he'll cut a, cut a promo after the match or something. Demanding to be in the world title match. I don't think they'll make it a triple threat match because The Rock versus Roman Reigns is too big of a match. They don't want to dilute it. So... I can't see them doing that. But we'll have to see, won't we? Interesting few months. It's exciting being a wrestling fan at the moment with WWE and AEW. And obviously, we still don't know where Okada's going to. We don't know where... Mercedes Monet's going to even though she's probably going to go to AEW and so is Akada, but there's no guarantee that they will. So we've got that. There's a few other wrestlers' contracts that are probably expiring this year and they might jump ship as well. So it's going to be very interesting. It's good having two big wrestling promotions there. Makes it things exciting. Reminds me of the Monday Night Wars of the 90s, the good old days. Yeah, I think I think the I think Roman Reigns is he's he's winding down his career. I think that's the reason why he's wrestling. He's he's on less and less shows. You got to remember the the poor blokes had leukemia twice. So uh, um, yeah, I think the problem with AEW they tried to become more like WWE really, aren't they? In a way, um, where the whole point of them being so popular in the first place is because they were so different to, to WWE. I mean, I love Daniel Bryan and, and, and that, and but I do feel like they should have stayed away from signing as many WWE stars as possible. They should have been the, the one that, that got all the, the, the prospects from the indies and stuff like that and made stars with them instead of just bringing in old WWE wrestlers. Don't get me wrong, we've had some great matches with Daniel Bryan though. Sorry, Bryan Danielson. Um, so... You know, Christian's been great. Um, Edge is doing all right. So they've, they've had decent impacts there. But, you know, poor CM Punk, by the way. Well, it's yeah. He's cursed with injuries, isn't he? He should retire. He's made, he's made of... Um, he's, made of a, he's made of a pencil, isn't he? He just breaks so easily. I think the reason why we've got Rock versus Roman as well is because CM Punk got injured. So that buggered up the one plan they had for him versus Seth. And then basically um, Brock Lesnar as well. So maybe they were going to do something with him. So that ruined their plans in a way as well. Yeah, but yeah, but Edge has not really done much. But he had a him and him and Christian. Had a really good match at the last AEW pay per view, I reckon. Um, I think I reckon that was match of the, the night, in my opinion. It was great storytelling. They've had a really good story between the two of them, and then once he's done with Christian, I think he'll get going again. I think you'll see him have a run where he does, where he goes against all the the, the younger wrestlers, like you know, maybe have a match against Kenny Omega, stuff like that. Um, he can still go in the ring. Yeah, they probably will do a third and final match between the two of them. It'll probably be some sort of TLC match in some way, but it'll, that'll be what will end the feud. And I think Christian will win it because Edge doesn't need to win it, does he? It, I think, you know, and also Christian's never come out on top in a feud with Edge. It's always been Edge. So I think Edge will want to put Christian over. And then I can see Edge teaming up with FTR against House of Black at some point. I think they'll do a feud with them. Or, or you'll have FTR and Edge versus Don Callis's um, group, stuff like that. Or maybe the maybe them versus the Young Bucks and somebody else. Maybe Kenny Omega will turn heel when he gets back from injury. Yeah, Kenny Omega's just like CM Punk, and he gets injured a lot. It's the style that they do; it's just ridiculous. But that's why they that's the reason why they're they're very good in what they do is because they just go all out.
Yeah, I think I think you'll see the House of Black in in uh, in WWE. There's just certain wrestlers that just do better in WWE environment, especially under Triple H. I think the reason why House of Black um, left WWE in the first place is because Vince McMahon was there and Vince McMahon didn't believe in them. Because at one point when Paul Heyman was in charge, it was either it was either um, Malachi Black or Drew McIntyre that was going to be the guy that beats Brock Lesnar. And I personally would have loved to have seen um, Alistair Black take out Brock Lesnar and then with, a, with one of them spin kicks or something. I think that would have made a really good visual. But we never got that. So yeah, I think he'll be back. Oh God, Ilya Dragunov versus Gunther again. Jesus Christ. If you ever watched the two matches they had before, watch them on, the, uh, on Peacock WWE Network because they are definitely matches worth watching. I might show them to my girlfriend over the weekend. She doesn't know. Um, she hasn't watched Dragonov, but she knows Gunther. She quite. She likes Gunther. She said she's scared of Gunther though. She don't want to. She don't. She would never go on, get on his bad side. Um, I think Trick. I don't know. I don't know who they're gonna have beat Gunther, but it's gonna be somebody. I think it'll be Bron Breaker personally. I think Bron Breaker's the one to beat Gunther for the Intercontinental Title. That will definitely get him over as a massive superstar straight from the beginning. Um, you could do Dragonov hasn't he's not gonna leave NXT for a while yet. Cause cause they're they're gonna call up Trick Williams eventually because he's just got he's just money, any Trick Williams. He's just um I mean the reaction he got on was it SmackDown or something when the crowd were just behind him? No, Roy Rumble, Roy Rumble, innit? The crowd were just chanting, his, chanting away to his song, weren't they? So he'll get called up straight away soon enough. He'll do something with Carmelo Hayes because Carmelo Hayes turned on Trick Williams at the uh, NXT pay-per-view last night. Spoiler alert for people who haven't watched it yet. Um, yeah. Yeah. So they'll probably carry on that feud in on SmackDown or Raw, depending on which one they're at. But WWE's doing all the right things, calling up these wrestlers. Um, because you've got, got these young wrestlers that are getting over on NXT. And the best thing to do is not keep them in NXT for long. Because they're, they're wasting their best years. They did that with... Unfortunately, they did that with like Finn Balor and Nakamura and Sami Zayn to a point. Their best athletic years, their prime years, they were spent in NXT. Which is good in a way, because we had some great TV on NXT. But for their careers, it wasn't very good. Not doing well in this penalty shootout, are we? Yeah, my girlfriend likes DIY as well. She likes it when they get on the on the apron and and pat their pat their shoulder. She quite she finds that quite funny. The problem with Carmelo Hayes, he's very athletic, but I think he's just too short. I just don't think they're going to push him all the way. They might. Trick Williams has got more about him than Carmelo Hayes, in my opinion. He's more of the traditional WWE main eventer. Mm, he's going to have to cash in at some point. Whether he's successful, I don't know. Because Damien Priest is, even though he's got a great look about him, he is quite old, isn't he? It just depends. Is is it Triple H's WWE at this point, or is it still Vince McMahon's WWE? You just don't know, do you? Time will tell. He could do it at Mania. They could have Cody Rhodes win on night two, and then Damian Priest cash in. That would be quite funny for all the wrong reasons. And then you just have a, you know, because Roman Reigns will, won't be wrestling as much. Oh, we're back in this penalty shootout now. Um, so Roman Reigns won't be wrestling as much. So they need a new top heel. Judgment Day is going, is 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 the most like popular it's ever going to be at this point. So they've got to pull the trigger on them. Yes, get in. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Yeah, my girlfriend hates hates Dominic Mysterio. She hates Dominic Mysterio. She hates Logan Paul. Um, she hates Austin Theory and she hates um, Grayson Waller and hates Paul Heyman as well 
So I really wound her up yesterday and I said, I've got a feeling WWE's going to put all these guys together. And she was like, oh, they better not. And then because we're going to go and watch WWE in April as well when they go to the UK, I said, oh, I'll laugh if they all were in the same match. And she'd be going, oh, she was getting, all, she was getting ever so wound up by it. We somehow turned around that penalty shootout. Sorry for people who are watching. Uh, very passionate about wrestling. And so is Josh. So we end up just talking about it all day long. Um, right, El Clasico on the 20th of April. There you go. We're through, we're through to a cup final again. When's the next game? Okay, holiday for a few days. Yeah, she hates... She, she don't... She hates Dominic and she hates Paul Heyman. She hates Logan Paul after the after SmackDown because um, he was just really arrogant. She just hates arrogant people. It really gets her back up, so it's quite funny to watch. Have you have you already quit your MLS save? Have you? I know you said you're enjoying it, but I mean, how long before you quit? Shall I predict two days? I reckon by. By the, time, by the time Thursday comes along, when I stream it in, you'll be telling me you get bored of it already. No, no, no. Okay, okay. We'll see. We'll see, Josh. We'll see. I know you too well. <laughs> right, uh, we've got a game against Cadiz. Anyway, Josh, did you get up too much this weekend? Just gone? Oh yeah, did you have a nice time? Yeah, oh, fair play. Did he enjoy it? Enjoy seeing the animals? I didn't realise this. My local zoo is open all year round. I thought they were only open in the summertime. So uh, I might I might go with my girlfriend at some point. I went and saw my my um, best friend and his girlfriend. I went round theirs for a few hours. Got to see their massive dog who jumped on my lap at one point. He honestly he's bigger than me. The big oaf. He slobbered all over me, head, but he's he's a lovely dog. Um, and then we played a bit of Call of Duty for a bit. We were killing zombies, which was quite fun. And then I went home. My girlfriend came back because she went to see her sister and her mum. And then we spent. Um, Saturday night together and then yesterday we went to round the shops for a bit because she needed to get a new diary and then we had to get some food and that's about it really and then we come back and watch Raw and Smackdown oh go on yeah go on Felix So I wasn't paying attention then. Oh, there we go. 2 0. Sorry, everyone. Ah, uh, gold slow. Goal awarded. Good, good, good. 2 0. Josh has had to go back to work by the looks of it. <laughs> hello, everybody else in the Twitch chat. Feel free to say hello in the chat. If you want to know what's going on in the save, you've only just started watching, let me know. I'll let you know. Trying to bring Messi back to Barcelona. That's the main narrative of this save. I'm only in season one at the moment. So I tried in January. Um, all sorts of issues. He won't come in the end because he doesn't think we'll be able to financially match what he's doing at, into Miami. So I'm hoping that we we do well. Um, we got knocked out of the Champions League though. So that's not going to help us. But we are currently top of the Spanish League. So hopefully that will help in some way in luring him back. 
But basically, the only person I, I want to sign in the summer, if I can help it, is Messi. And if I can get the finances to do that one way or another, I will. It's very hard because you've got a small squad at Barcelona. Um, there's not enough sellable players unless it's your real top talent, wonder kid players like Gavi and Pedri. You don't want to get rid of because you want to build a team around them. Um, I can't get rid of Gudongan or anybody like that. So, um, yeah, we'll just have to see what we get, transfer budget and stuff like that. Because initially Barca stopped me from signing him because they said that he didn't represent value for money because I offered into Miami 10 million up front and then 10 million over 48 months. And Barca were like, no, that's too much. I'm like, it's Lionel Messi. He's the greatest player to ever grace this football pitch and also your greatest ever player. What are you on about? They don't care about the fans by the looks of it. Yeah, he will. No, he's going to go to Real Madrid. I think he's had enough at PSG. He's wasting his career at PSG, in my opinion, Mbappe. Um, it's the easiest league in the world, pretty much, for PSG. And then, and they've still ballsed it up because they haven't won the league title every season he's been there. Lille won it the one year, didn't they? And then, was it Monty Pella won it one year? In recent history, since they've been taken over by them rich people. I think I remember Monty Pella winning it. Yeah. So it just... And, it, and then they don't really do well in the Champions League. So what is the point? It, it, I mean, obviously, if he's getting paid ridiculous amounts of money and that's all he's bothered about, then fair play to him. But I, I just feel like he's got more ambition about him. There we go. Yeah, Felix. 3-0. Job done. Right, who can we put on for him? Uh, Rafina. Who can we put on for Godongan? Mariba. Who can we put on for Balde? Nikafe. Uh, who can we put on for Torres? Right, let's have a look. Deli Ali, maybe? Yeah, Deli Ali. Got to be done, innit? All right, Bazinga. How's it going? We, were, we missed all the action. We were talking about the Rock, Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes situation, if you've been keeping up with that. Yes, I have got Deli Ali, and he's the greatest footballer ever. I've signed Deli Ali for Rafe Rovers now as well, so I'm really happy about that, and he's been doing really well for me at Rafe Rovers. Um, and I started a new save a couple of days ago with Reading, and I signed it offline, and I've signed him for Reading as well, and he's doing quite well there. So he's proven everybody wrong. He's going to get a goal here from this corner. You watch. Nah, maybe not. Um, no, it's all right, Bazinga. Just, just message. Just, just, just pop a message in when you're ready. You got. I mean, the end day, you're at work. But yeah, you don't, you don't miss much. You just must. You just miss me and uh, Josh have a a full on debate about whether it was the right thing to have Rock come down on SmackDown and challenge Roman Reigns. I'll tell you what though, Josh, WWE's got like an amazing women's division. And if they get, um, is it Julia or Julia from Stardom? They can have an even better division with her. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not Cody Rose versus Roman Bazinga. Did you not watch SmackDown? Um, basically, The Rock come down. Cody Rhodes said, like, basically set it all up and said, there's somebody else that wants to challenge you. Gave up his title shot, or not for now, delayed his title shot. So he's not wrestling Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, it's The Rock. And then The Rock stared down Roman Reigns at the end of SmackDown, and that was it. Stardom might be splitting up anyway, Josh. Um, somebody's leaving Stardom and they're going to start their own promotion. And a lot of Stardom wrestlers' contracts expire in March. So that'd be interesting. Jesus Christ, Barcelona are minus 100 million. We are screwed. I don't think we're I don't think we're going to be able to bring back Messi, sadly.
Who's surviving on the Korean League? I'm really confused. Are you on about Lingard? Bazinga. I'm assuming you're on about Lingard, aren't you? Yeah, Josh, have a look on res uh, WrestleZone.com. There's, there's, there's something about it on there, I think, about him leaving stardom. Rossi, Rossi O'Gara, or whatever his name is, the guy with the glasses. That's what the that's what the rumors are. But yeah, Bazinga. Um, so you're probably gonna have Roman Reigns versus The Rock on night one of WrestleMania. Now they might end up having Cody Rhodes in there somewhere. Or wrestling Roman Reigns on night two, but nothing has been confirmed. Nothing has been done yet. So, as far as everybody else is concerned, at the moment, it's just it's going to be the Rock versus Roman Reigns. I was fixing my webcam, by the way. So, don't, when that was shaking was going on, there was nothing dodgy going on. I promise. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of dodginess going on in Japanese wrestling. Oh my god, my webcam keeps knocking over. <sighs> Stay still. There we go. And I'll just tilt that that way. That should work. Oh my god, that's a terrible angle. There we go. That's better. Sorry, everyone. No, it's not, Josh. MLS is the most painful league to ever manage in. I hate the, I hate the rules. I don't like it. If you like it, fair enough. You might have finally found the league that you're meant to be in. But for, as far as I'm concerned, no. Right, we're playing Valencia now. Uh, oh, God, we've got De Jong in defence. That's not good. Deli Ali starting here. Let's see what he can do. We don't need Messi anyway. We've got Deli Ali, Josh, so we're fine. I know, I was thinking about streaming TEW, but I think it's so niche that nobody would really be into it. Why don't you do it on why don't you do it with New Japan or TNA on Twitch to see if they get anybody interested? You might get a few people interested, Josh. If I I'd rather watch you play it, because I think you're much better at it than I am. I know you'd watch every episode, Josh, but I think you'd be the only person. Other than Tony Khan. Tony Khan might watch me because it's his favourite game in at TEW. He's literally, he literally is playing real life football manager and real life TEW and he, he's living our best life. Deli Ali, get in. There you go, Josh. Proving you wrong. Good old Deli Ali. Becoming a Barcelona favourite as we speak. Well, there you go then. Oh, 1-1. One, one. There you go then, Josh. That's your own fault. If you can't be bothered to sort out the database, that's that's your fault, not mine. I'm not going to sort out the database. I haven't got time to sort out the database. I haven't got time to, to stream anything else than what I'm doing. I'm cutting back how many days I'm streaming as it is. I'm only streaming three days a week now. Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. Unless, obviously, on, a, on a one particular week, I can't do that certain day and I'll change the day, but... Gonna try and keep the days as they are. Right, I've got a corner. Are oh, you gonna do a WWE one now? Make up your bloody mind. You said you were gonna do TNA a minute ago. Oh Jesus Christ, we've got to play a sense off by the looks of it. Oh no, we ain't. That's all right. Come on, Deli Ali, get another one. Anyway, Bazinga, how are you today? When are you going to Brighton next? You can meet Josh, meet up with Josh for a drink. He'll, t he'll show you some of the best places to go. Josh, any recommendations for um, pubs to go to in Brighton for Bazinga? Any interesting places in Brighton that he should explore when he's there next? There you go. There you go, Bazinga. That's one place already. Oh no, 2-1. The doll disallow. Come on. Come on, ref. Come on, VAR. Help us out. Yes. 
Come on, Barca boys, what's going on here? Right, Torres, you're coming off. Where is he? Roman? No, no, Clayton. Fran Torres crosses it in. Header. Oh. Alacorn. Iliax. No, I just meant next time you're in Brighton, Bazinga. Just in case you're a bit stuck, Josh would meet you. Yeah, get in, Torres. Typical you bloody scorers. I'm just, oh, I'm cancelling that, cancelling that one. There you go. Right, we need to put him on. Oh, yes, get oh, Deli Ali again. Get in. Are we going to see a Deli Ali hat trick, our, uh, our Josh? Eh? Are we are we predicting the Deli Ali hat trick here? Yeah. Proving you wrong. Proving you wrong, Josh. You should sign him for your MLS team if you. Uh, he'll be available in season two, one or three. You could bring him to the MLS. He'd probably be the most talented, technically talented player there if he's on on form. The axe. Delhi Alley again. Come on. Oh, Delhi, come on. Right, Rafina, you're tired. Put Yo Felix on for you. Uh, oh, no more subs. Right, come on, Delhi. Get your hat trick. Get your hat trick. I can't celebrate too too much because if I'd start doing all this and shaking it, 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 it turns my mic off. I did it earlier. I was recording an episode and it turned it off halfway through me doing one. It was really annoying. Why are you going to do a WWE diary on TW? You'll get bored of that, Josh. Why don't you do TNA? Just do TNA and just update the rosters. It won't take you that long. It'll take you a couple of hours at the most, won't it? They don't need to be exactly perfect either, do they? Because you can just bring other wrestlers in. You'd have more fun with TNA than you would with uh, WWE. Right, we haven't got a game for 10 days, so I'm holidaying. Yeah, Deli Ali. My, one of my favourite players. Yeah, it will be a, it will be a mess, Josh. But you, it's not. It, it'll give you something to look forward to when you when you finally get it sorted. You'll get to do it, and you'll be really happy about it. Yeah, but you just edit them. You edit the contracts out. I know, I know. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it, do you? You could just start with the data that they've got, even if it's a mess. Because it might be entertaining for you just to do it as it, as it is. Um, by the way, you two, Man United are back. We're going to win the title next year. You've heard it here first. I'm predicting it now. Man United win the title next season. Guarantee it. There you go. I'll bet you a tenner each. We are back, baby. Woo! Now, nah, jokes aside, we didn't perform well in them two games. We were very... Well, we did in a way, but we were very lucky as well. We were very lucky to beat Wolves. Um, I didn't... I haven't watched the highlights from the game yesterday yet. But I probably will watch that tomorrow or Wednesday. Who do you reckon is going to win the title, Josh? Do you reckon Arsenal, Liverpool or Man City to win the title?
You reckon City? Yeah, I think I'm, I pretty much agree with you on that one. I think it's Man City's to uh, lose. They've got two games to play ahead of Liverpool and Arsenal. We've got Deli Ali in the Spanish First Division Team of the Week. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna praise him for his last performance. Praise recent form, I'll do. Why won't somebody bloody buy him off me? Yeah, Arsenal, come on. Take him off me hands. No, I won't. I won't. I don't think I'll manage in the J League. I might try probably before FM twenty five. But uh, nah, it's just not really my thing. It's probably a very fun league to manage in. All right, let's, let's tie down some of these future players. Oh, a ball's up there. Oh, I've done it again. Too quick for my own group there. Ugh. Oh, well, we've got the two best talents signed up. That's good. Right, Roque's back from injury. How did you get on with... Oh, I was going to say. There you go, Josh. You saved me asking you. How did you get on, Bazinga? Any interesting signings there? You managed to sign any old old players there? Bring them to Japan? Have you managed to sign the oldest player ever yet, um, Kayoshi Miura? I signed him for um, Rafe Rovers, but he never played and I released him after a while because he was moaning about lack of football, lack of first team football. Right, we have got Granada next. See how we get on. Oh, we're no longer top. But we can be if we win this game, hopefully. Go back to being top of the league. Got to win, though. Are you asking me, Josh, or... Um, to answer your question, no. Not since our last chat a couple of days ago about it. Um, no. No.
there's plenty of things on Netflix and other streaming services, Josh. You can't have run out of things. There's a thing on Netflix where it picks a show for you. Why don't you try that? And then you've got to stick with it, even if it's a chick, uh, chick flick. Not chick flick, that's outdated. Even if it's a TV show mostly for women, you still got to watch it. <laughs> There's a show called, I think it's called Virginia River or something like that. I watched one episode of that, and that was quite, I quite enjoyed that, um, but never got around to watching the whole series. You'll never run out of things to watch on TV. It's just not, it's just not possible. We're very well. We're very spoiled consider, compared to what we were in the nineties, where we had like five channels, and there was no such thing as streaming things on, watching things online. You haven't completed TV. I'm, I'm, I find it impossible to believe you on that one. It's impossible. I guarantee I can find you a show on Netflix. I guarantee it. Whether you'll like it. Have you watched the David Beckham show yet? You watched the David Beckham one? Okay, you've watched Beckham. Okay, have you watched the Sunderland documentary? Have you watched that yet? Have you watched? Have you also watched the 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 Wrexham one on Disney Plus? Yes, Breaking Bad is literally them and the Sopranos is the greatest TV drama series ever. Everybody keep everyone goes on about the what the wire, but I watched the first season of it and I didn't particularly like it. So I haven't watched it all, so I can't really say yet. But um, yeah, Breaking Bad and The Sopranos is the best TV shows ever. You've never seen The Sopranos. Well, there you go, Josh. Problem solved. It is on. It's on. It's on. Have you got Sky, Josh? You probably haven't got Sky, have you? That's the problem. If you've got Sky, it's uh, it's on the box sets on Sky. Also, it's on it's always on Sky at Atlantic. You can just watch it. Um, wait for it to start up again from the beginning and just start recording it. Honestly, if you love Breaking Bad, you love The Sopranos. It's literally the greatest TV show ever. No Sky. Well, Have a look at a dodgy website, see if you can find The Sopranos on there. You definitely should watch it, though. Well, buy, the, buy the DVDs. I guarantee the DVDs aren't that expensive. You can get the box set from Charity. I bet you can get the DVD box set on the Charity Shop quite cheap. If you looked. If I find the, if I find the DVD set, I'll let you know. In fact, after this game, I'm going to have a look for you. In fact, I'm just gonna let it run. Oh, you don't have a DVD. Oh. There's no there's no helping you, is there? Have you got a Blu-ray player? Maybe I can find it on Blu-ray. I don't have a DVD player or a Blu-ray player either, so I don't I don't really judge you on that because they're obsolete basically as far as I'm concerned. I assume Xbox One does, yeah. It'll either play DVDs or Blu-rays. Have a look on Amazon. I bet you I bet you can stream it on Amazon. Let's have a look. Hold on. Amazon. I oh, know it's Amazon Prime I want, isn't it? Amazon Prime. Right. Hold on. The Sopranos. Yeah, DVD. We don't want DVD. We want to watch it. Prime Video. There we go. So you can buy. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you the link. There you go. There's the link.
Is Japanese food like Chinese food? Probably not, is it? Have you ever had China? Have you ever had Japanese food? Uh, Japanese food before Bazinga. I haven't. If it's like Chinese food, I'll love it. Oh, what a rubbish offer by Arsenal! Try right, ten million. That's it. There we go. The dong is out the door. Frees up his wage as well because they're not asking for us to pay a contribution for his wages. Oh, this is a kicker in it. Yeah, fine, whatever. We'll get eight million for him. It's fine. I've never watched anime. Um, yeah, see, I've never had sushi. I don't really like noodles. So if that's what Japanese food's like, I'm not that pop I'm not that into it then. I've been broadening my horizons lately though. I had I had um I had squid the other day, battered squid, that was really nice. And I had prawns a couple of weeks ago before that. Never had them two before, so I'm eating more fish now. So that's good. Josh, why don't you look at the why don't you type in top 100 greatest tv shows ever and then go through the list and then let me know how many of them you've watched like the, the number i don't mean every single don't list every single show that you've watched because we'll be there all day just have a look just google 100 top tv shows ever you don't know you haven't looked at the list yet so how do you know oh you've done it before fair enough sorry well, there you go. Well, there's your problem solved. Fork out some money and watch The Sopranos. I promise you won't regret it. Bazinga will back me up on this. Bazinga. Uh... Oh, what's this? Chat will be cleared and any settings selected in shield mode will immediately be activated. I don't want shield mode. Go away. It's all right. Something just come up on Twitch. Just ignore it. Fair enough. Well, why don't you cancel some of your other subscriptions then? Free up your money. All I hear is excuses, Josh. <laughs> I bet you if you went into YouTube, you'd probably be able to find that somebody um, that's got the, the, the episodes on there. In fact, I'm going to have a look. Right, YouTube. The Sopranos Season 1 uh, 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 uh. Um, Filters Filters Over 20 minutes And then How do I search by Oh I don't know Oh no, no. By the looks of it, it's just uh, there's no there's like there's best ofs, and there's people commenting about it. No, nah. but you should definitely watch it, Josh. No, I haven't seen Santa Clarity Diet. Josh, I recommend you get a couple of hobbies instead of watching TV all the time because that's what I do, and it's, it gets very boring. Read a book. There you go. Read a book. That's it. That, that could be your new hobby. There's plenty of football books out there you can get. Right. Let's play this match now. Playing Alaveras. Read them all. Sod off. You, you annoying me now. I'm just ignoring you. Trolling me at this point. What are you, uh, Bazinga, what are you getting your missus for, for Valentine's Day? My missus doesn't believe in Valentine's Day. She said that you shouldn't have one particular day to celebrate your love. And she finds it all like commercial, just a way of companies out there making money. Whereas I'm quite, I'm quite romantic and I want to make an effort and she doesn't want me to make an effort, which is really annoying. I'm still going to buy her stuff. I'm, I'm still going to buy her something. She purposely, we went past Warren James Jewelers yesterday and she purposely pointed out these earrings that she likes to look up and she says if I was to get her something I could get her that I'm like all right all right hinting a bit too much she's very contradicting she says one thing and then means the other
I bet you all probably won't. I bet you all I'll, I'll probably just get a card for Valentine's Day. She won't get me anything. Right, Vito Roque. Ah. Yeah, women, they want us to surprise them, but they don't want us to get them anything that they don't like. It is very frustrating. Oh, get in. 2-1. 2-0. Uh, um, so, yeah. You're kind of screwed either way. Whatever you get her, just keep the receipt. And if she doesn't like it, give her the receipt and say, get something that you want then. She's only got herself to blame then. There you go. I'll give you... I'm here, I'm here to play football manager and also give you relationship advice. Call me Dr. Love. I haven't seen that film, Society of the Snow, no. No, never seen it, Josh. It doesn't sound like my type of thing, to be honest. Right, 3-0 up. At half time. Another box standard victory for Barcelona on the cards by the looks of it. Get in. Vitor Roque. Oh, no, I definitely don't want to watch that. I freaked out watching the first season of. Oh, God, what's it called? It was on. It was. It's about them. Them. Um, group of group of young girls and their teacher and that. And there was like another. There was like a young lad or something. And they got abandoned on a island. And then they end up turning into cannibals to survive. It's got Christina Ricci in it and Juliette Lewis in it, and I can't remember what it's bloody called. Josh will know. She'll, he'll tell me in a second. It's on. It's on. Um, I think it's on Disney Plus or Paramount. It's on one of them too now. In fact, I'm going to Google it because it's going to bug me. All right, Christina. Richie. There we go. And then we just go... Just check her... Go away. Uh, yeah, that was it. Yellow Jackets. Yellow Jackets. Yeah, well done, Josh. I knew you'd know. I knew you'd know. Yeah, I watched the first season of Yellow Jackets and it was a bit too gross for my liking. It was all right. It was entertaining, but I, I, I'm not. I'm not in a rush to watch the second season. If I'm honest with you, I think it was a bit too much. Turned my stomach a bit. Right, we're winning four 0 now. Vito Roque. Will he get his hat trick? Soon find out. All right, good little win there, 4 0. Bloody hell, you're doing all right, mate, if, you, if you're buying Burberry stuff. It's not cheap. Do you want to adopt me, Bazinga? Right, 4 0 win. Good, good, good. Oh, for God's sake, Gundongan's rejected Arsenal. Ugh, just go away, Gundongan. No one wants you here. You gobshite. A dog? What? I don't remember. I don't did I ask you if you had a dog? I'm really confused.
did Josh ask you if you had a doll? I'm really confused right now. I don't think I asked, did I? Did um, how did it go, Bazinga, with that with your with your flat share? Did you manage? Did that did that woman um end up taking the room in the end? Oh great! Nobody wants Godongbid now. Right. Try that. Hope for the best. Oh, okay, that's good. I'm glad that you managed to get that room sorted. I'm having great trouble trying to find me somewhere to live. So basically, I'm on benefits. And my lovely girlfriend was stressing out about it this morning so she sent me about about 15 20 different property listings and either they wouldn't they wouldn't rent it to me because the landlord's insurance doesn't cover people on benefits or I didn't fit the financial criteria for them um, or it was just too expensive to rent so I'm finding it very hard to find somewhere suitable to live Oh, she cooks. Does she ever give you any of that food or does she just cook and wind you up and then you can't eat it? I assume she off she cooks for you or offers at least. So that's good. What's a food what's a cooking like? Any good? Oh, I forgot I had Leglet in the in here. He's just rotting away in my bloody team here, and I oh, gotta remember to try and sell him in the summer. Right, Deli Ali in the team again. Played well last time, so hopefully he'll play well this time. Oh, that's good then, mate. You've done well there, getting a housemate that'll cook food for you. My, my, luckily, my girlfriend's very good at cooking as well. She cooks, she cooks a lot of meals from scratch. So um, she's trying to, she cooks me um, chicken and rice, chicken and pasta, healthy, healthyish meals. We had a very nice um, meatballs and pasta last night, in like a tomatoey, cheesy sauce. It was very nice. Hello, anybody else in the Twitch chat? Feel free to say hello. Right, 1-0 down against bloody Oceana. Come on, Deli Ali. Come to our rescue. Gabby, give it to Ali. I think we just scored from a... Oh, no, it's an own goal. It's all right. We'll take it. Oh, you're making a bit of spank ball tonight, are you, Josh? Lovely. Yum, yum, yum. We're having burgers and chips and burgers in buns and chips tonight. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, I don't. When I'm, when on the days that my girlfriend stays at her own house um, in the week, I tend to just either have like Iceland's own pizza or something, and then I'll have a beige tea the other day. And then when she's here, I try and eat a bit healthier. Right, come on. Let's get another goal here. We don't want to draw against these losers. There you go. Oh, come on, referee. Your mouth I swear your mouth gets offside all the time. Is there any way I can stop him getting offside? He needs to be better at timing his runs. Oh, that's right. It was awarded. It's fine. We'll let you off. Right, we're 2 1 up just before half time. We are three points clear of Real Madrid if we win this game with the game ahead of them. So everything is good. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Ball day to Gundongan. Gundongan loses the ball. What a what a 
Fairy. Go on then, Cancelo. Go on, Yamal. There we go. Look at that loopy loop ball. Oh, look at that. Deli Alley with the assist. Did you see that, Josh? That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful by the man. The man they call Deli Alley. Oh, Deli Alley's picked up a knock. Oh, that's the end of his contribution in this game. He did well, though. He left a mark on the game. He got an assist. Ferran Torres. From Pedri. Gavi. Gudongan. Gavi. Gudongan. Over. All right. Corner. Oh, God. You lot talking about food is making me really hungry now. I can't move though, because if I move, I'm worried I'm going to knock the mic. So I'm staying here until until we finish, which is not for another hour and 20 minutes yet. I just hope I don't need to pee at any point. Right, Pedri. It's the post, comes back to Cancelo. Gundongan across to Baldi. Baldi misses. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Right. Oh, we can't take anybody else off, okay. Um, we were going to go on actual Valentine's Day. We were going to go into an Italian restaurant, but my girlfriend doesn't want to do that now because she says it'll be too crowded and she doesn't like being around big crowded people, like there are loads of crowds of people. So I might cook for her. Um, well, she might want to cook for me for Valentine's Day on the day and then we'll probably go out for a meal on the weekend. So yeah, um, I've got a I've got a Valentine's card, and it's got it's got on the card. I love your bum. So there you go. Because she's not really a lovey dovey Valentine's Day person, so I know that card she'll she'll love because it because it's quite cheeky and quite funny. Josh, have you have you and are you or Bazinga watched Love on the Spectrum? I can't remember if I've asked you this or not. I think I might have already asked you, and I. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. It's like the greatest show ever. It's so wholesome, and you just can't help but root for the people to find love. Other than Danny, I don't like Danny. I feel like she um, she's a bit she's a bit annoying. My girlfriend loves Danny though. Absolutely loves her. You plan to eat outside? Bloody hell. It's not summertime yet, Bazinga. You're tempting fate there. Right, very convincing 3 1 win here. Deli Alley with an assist as well. Gavi, what a goal by Gavi. Just to put a final marker on the game. No, that's fair enough. No, that's fair enough, Bazinga. How's she getting on with the study? What, what does your girlfriend study? Oh no, Delhi Ali's out for up to six days. That is crushing. Our, our season is over now. Fiend is out as well. We just had like three or four injuries in that one game alone. Right, we've got another game in two days already. Real Sociedad. Can we extend your loan? No, we can't. 
Ugh. Can't afford to buy you as well. Same with you. Can't afford to buy you. Uh, who are you? I don't remember you. No, we're not extending your loan. You're rubbish. You're rubbish, mate. That's good that you get along, because she could be the jealous type, couldn't she, Bazinga? And she might not like your new roommate, because because of her being a woman. So fair play to her that she's not that like that, because that would be, that would cause you a lot of issues in the long run. How's she doing in business and man? Oh, okay, yeah, I I knew somebody who did like a degree in business. It's 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 not easy at all, is it? So fair play to her. God, we're 120 million in the red now. The season isn't even over. We need to pull one of them levers, Barcelona owners. Oh, okay. Oh, they're disappointed in me. All of our players in the team of the week. So, uh, Torres, Gavi, Arujo, and Cancelo. Oh, God, Greenwood was in the team of the week. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, so she does it online. Okay, that's good then. Um, yeah, Josh, I could definitely imagine you as a plumber. Like, like bloody Super Mario. I don't think I don't think we're gonna sh I don't think we're gonna sell the dongling at this rate. Why can't one of the Saudi teams buy him off me? He's right up there, Ali as well, Gundongan. Yeah, yeah, he's got he's got a lot of grief, any Bellingham for doing that. There's um, Gattafi and uh, Mason Greenwood solicitors want to take Bellingham to court about that, I think. Yeah, probably right with that with Greenwood. He probably doesn't want the uh, the publicity. I'll leave you two to talk about uh, anime for a few minutes. I'll play this game. The only anime I like is uh, Family Guy and Simpsons. Does that count? Oh, and South Park. I like South Park. I know it's not anime before you say it's not. I know, I know. But, you know, it's the only animation I like. Yayo Felix. Oh. Oh my god, the keeper absolutely fluffed that then. Right, Mick. Oh, okay. Josh, I don't think I've ever asked you this. Oh, I might have. What does your wife do for a living? I can't remember. Does she have an exciting job? Yeah, that's fine, mate. But if you need me to talk a little bit quieter, just let me know because I've got a big booming voice. Come on, Pocho. Pocho, 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 one of the two. De Jong. Get in, Gavi scores. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. 
She, yeah, she probably yeah. They, they do earn good money, but it's a it's a shit job that they have to do, isn't it? When you think about the the people they have to deal with, it's a fair play to her. My girlfriend has to wear noise cancelling headphones when she goes to to bed because of my snoring, and she can still hear my snoring uh, my snoring sometimes. So um, that's how bad my snoring is. I am better than noise cancelling headphones. Right, corner to us. Um, if there's anybody else in the Twitch chat and you're enjoying the stream or enjoying the uh, conversation, please feel free to say hello. We don't bite. Well, Josh sometimes bite, bites, but it depends. We've got five people in the Twitch chat now. Woo, woo, woo. It's all kicking off now. It's all going on. Come and say hello. Don't be shy. And sub please subscribe as well. Please follow me on Twitch. I mean, not subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube. I am on Luch I am on YouTube, by the way. Lucha FM. If you want to subscribe to me on there, just search for me. Just type in Lucha FM. You'll find me. All right, you kinky bugger, Josh. Too much information. Try not to put my viewers off here. <laughs> I'm only joking, mate. Cheese nibbles. He's on about cheese nibbles, ain't you, Josh? Cheese nibbles. He likes a cheese nibble. Don't we all? Right. Pocho. Alacan. Martinez. Kunde on the ball. Still 1 0 up against Sociedad. We're getting all tangled up here by the looks of it. Oh, yeah. Oh no, we still got it. There we go. Oh, nearly. Yeah, there you go, Josh. <laughs> oh, we got six people in the Twitch chat now. Come on, don't be, don't be scared. Come and say hello. That means there's four of you not contributing in the chat. Come and say hello. Let me know. Let me know what team you're managing on Football Manager. At the most, I've had four people contributing in the chat. I want more than that. I want everybody contributing. We'll, we'll, we'll all start our own man-only club or something, and we'll we'll moan about our partners. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> oh, VAR. Oh, goal awarded. Good, good, good. Pocho scores. Right, we're six points clear now. How many games have we got left? Oh, we should be able to get this season. Yeah, we'll get this season done. Oh, God, we've got the Copper Del Rey game coming up soon. We've got Las Palmas first. And then we've got Mallorca and we've got Real Madrid in the league then. That will probably be the title decider, I reckon. And then we've got three games after that that will be probably straightforward. If we beat Las Palmas and then we beat Real Madrid, we win the title. That'd be good to win the title in the uh, Real Madrid game. We've got to beat them first, so no easy task. I've scared off a few of them on Twitch. I've only got four in the Twitch chat now. Boo! <laughs> I think half the people just come on here to see if I'm actually Rey Mysterio. And once they realise I'm not, they just bugger off. That's handy for you, Bazinga. How come you are, you are you not been together that long? Is that why you don't live together? Or are you just you just waiting a bit? You're probably being sensible and waiting until you financially both able to live together. Especially where you live, because it's probably very expensive. Does your um Josh, does your wife enjoy a job? Does she does she help? Is she a social worker for kids, or is it for adults? What what does she do? Unless you don't, unless you can't say. If you can't say, then don't worry about. It. I don't want to get you in trouble.
Oh, okay, she lives with a cousin. Fair enough. Yeah, my housing situation would be a lot easier if my girlfriend's mom didn't live at a girlfriend at my girlfriend's. Then I could literally just move into my girlfriend's house. And it's a nice house as well. And it's in a nice area. And it's easy to get to places. It's literally ideal. It's and I wouldn't even need to pay that much towards the rent because she's paying a mortgage. So I'd only have to contribute a couple hundred quid a month for for bills and stuff like that. So I'd be I'd be spending a lot less money than I am now. Uh, just, 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 you know, she doesn't want to get rid of her mom though, and I understand that because I don't want a mom struggling to find somewhere. Because I'm struggling to find somewhere, so she she'll be even worse than me, I reckon. Right, let's see how we get on. Did it did it oh I'm bloody hungry now you two talking about bloody food Yeah no worries Josh enjoy uh, enjoy your meeting mate Feel free to ask any questions Bazinga I'm here to chat if you're bored Are you enjoying your week this week so far? Are you enjoying your Monday? Have you been up to much? Get in, Torres. I missed that, so I was, wasn't paying attention. Let me see this gold again. Oh, lovely little cross. Oh, look at that. Great bit of control by Torres. Right, 1 0 to us. Monday's always the worst day, isn't it? Because it's like when I used to work, I used to work in an office 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, and I used to hate it because come Sunday afternoon, I was so depressed because I knew I had work the next day. So, um, yeah, I don't envy you lot at all. I know people have to work. I just wish we didn't have to work. I wish we all could just do what we want, enjoy our life, and none of us have to work. That would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Is that how you, you spice up your love life? Go to the gym together, Bazinga. The couples that go to the gym together stay together. That's what I say. I couldn't go to the gym with my partner because she's. I don't like to waste time, and I, I, I'd be really. I don't like going to the gym with like my mates as well for the same reason because you've got to wait for them to do their sets, and I'd rather just get on with what I need to do and then go. I'd, I'd probably spend about half an hour in the gym because I walk to the gym, which is an hour's walk, so that's my cardio done, and then I just do weights. Oh, own goal. Oh, okay. So the building that you're in's got their own little gym. Is that is that a good enough gym for you to do what you need to do? I, I've been to a few hotels where they've got their own small gym, and there's just not enough. There's not enough equipment for what I like to do. I mean, if it's free, you're not complaining, are you? If it's if it's there as part of the rent. Yeah, you might as well, mate. Yeah. Is there any cheap gyms around by you? Or are they all like really expensive because of where you live? Oh, at least the equipment's brand new then. Fair play. Like you said, if it's free, it's free.
Right, six points clear. Right, we've got Real Madrid next game in the Copa del Rey final. Big, big game for our season. It's a shame Josh is busy in a meeting. He won't be able to uh, watch me finish the season off. Um, Bazinga, have you had a chance to watch any of my stuff on YouTube? No worries if you won't, because I, I, I don't expect you to. I'm just asking you, just out, only out of curiosity, because I've had a recent surge in watch hours on my videos, and I just wondered if you watched a few, that's all. There's no pressure, though, from me. It's not as entertaining as it is as I am on Twitch, because I'm only talking to myself. So I'm basically just narrating what's happening in the game pretty much i'm trying i try and use a bit of humor when need be um whereas on here i just have conversations with people like you and josh about random things while i'm playing football manager which is good in a way um but yeah i don't expect you to have it either because i know you're a busy man but if you do, let if you ever do, let me know. I'd be, just be curious what you think of it. No, I appreciate. You. I noticed that you subscribe to my YouTube, so I do appreciate that, mate. It all helps at the end of the day. See, like I nearly got a thousand subscribers on YouTube because basically what I did is I kind of cheated. There was a I thought I watched a few videos on how to get subscribers, and YouTube do these promotions where. You're basically paying somebody to they, the YouTube pay these people just to from different countries to to go onto your watch a couple of like seconds of your video and subscribe to your channel. So I got uh, a lot of subscribers in a short period of time simply through these promotions that I did. But I kind of wish I hadn't done it now because I feel like it cheated in a way. But I've got 971 subscribers at the moment. I get a few new subscribers every week, so it's ad it's building up a little bit slowly, and they're real people as well, because I'd rather have real people than bot subscribing, because they're the ones that are going to uh, stay. And I'm having a and my watch hours has gone up, and I'm getting a lot of returning viewers as well, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully it'll build up slowly but surely. I want to try and make money from doing this. I know it's it's not as easy as people think it is. It's not a simple process of if you if you create content you'll just eventually make money you've got to make the content interesting so i just want to get people the watch hours up because i'll hit the criteria for subscribers pretty quickly because you only need to get a thousand subscribers but my watch hours is way below so hopefully that'll go up but anyway enough about that right very important game now any predictions for this game bazinga what do you reckon do you reckon i'm gonna win or do you reckon Real Madrid's going to screw me over in this game? My first possibility of having a trophy at Barcelona in this game. I lost. I lost. We lost to Real Madrid in the other cup final. I can't remember what the cup competition was called now, but the, the Spanish League Cup basically. Um, we lost to Real Madrid, so we want to get a revenge on them. Cheers, mate. That's what I like to hear. Positivity. Let's see if you're right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank God for that. Right, luck is on our side. We're going to win this. We're going to win this. Gym Nation. I go to the gym anyway. I go to Pure Gym. There's a Pure Gym about an hour's walk away from me, so I walk to that gym. Um, it's only twenty quid a month as well, which ain't too bad. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to move out eventually, so I'm worried that wherever I go to, because um, my my girlfriend lives in Birmingham, and there's a few there's a few main gyms like um, Pure Gym and stuff like that. But when you're not right next to the city centre, there's not many gyms about. There's, there's like the old fashioned men gyms. I don't like them. Too many meatheads. 
Bloody hell, 70 quid for a gym membership. Sod that. It's because you live in London, isn't it? Is that the only reason? Oh, God, free kick to Real Madrid. Good save. Well done to Steigen. Keeping us in this game. Keeping us in this game. Right, Real Madrid with the corner. Over. Good. The longer they don't score, the more chance we've got of winning this. Even though every highlight is coming to them. You want to change your prediction, do you, Bazinga? Yeah, bloody London. Right, corner to Real Madrid. Nicely defended by us. Oh dear. Good save. Good save. Go on to Steigen. Get in. Cheers, mate. I think the longer they don't score, the more frustrating it's going to be for them. I think as soon as they score, though, it's game over. Offside. There we go. Right. Highlight possibly coming to us. If we score now, we've definitely FM'd Real Madrid. Because they've been way the better team. Oh, here we go. Here we bloody go. Oh, no. Phew! Great defending there. Great defending. Yeah, that would make it easier for you to be able to do more than one thing, uh, Bazinga. So, yeah, so fair play. I'll talk to you properly in a second. I need to really concentrate on this now. <laughs> I've got to get this. I've got to get it. Turn this game around. Oh, yeah, Joe Felix can come off. Good tackle. Come on. I want some highlights to go my way. There we go. Come on to Steigen. That's it. Let's build up the play, Gavi. Let's keep possession. Let's not lose it. There we go. Okay, we're going to come and stuck in a second, aren't we? Do I need to bring in the Esther on, lads? Do you need me to bring on the, the Maestro? Good ball. Yes! Get in! Ball day. Get in. Go on. What? Who are you managing in? A, are you still managing Strasbourg, um, Bazinga? Good save by Tostoygen. We might win this game. I think Real Madrid has just not. They've just been a bit unlucky. Right, there we go. Demand a bit more. Who's not playing particularly well? Uh, yeah. Right, time to put you off. We're okay. Who do we put on? It's time for Pochi. Pocho Romano. Uh, Pedri can come off. And Deli Ali, where are you? You can come on. Uh, Torres, you can come off. And I can't come on for you. Okay. Right, we've maxed out all our subs now. Oh no, Realm just got a free kick. Good save to Sto to Steigen. To Steigen. How are you getting on with Strasbourg? Good defending. We're going to win this. We are going to win this. Bothered skin of our teeth, but we're going to win this. In fact, I need to do that. There we go. Oh, God. Seven minutes of added time. Bloody hell. Yeah, the French League's pretty good, isn't it? How the hell have Real Madrid not scored in this game? I do not know. So look, We're so lucky in this game. You made any good signings with Strasbourg since I last spoke to you about it? Jesus Christ, how the hell are we still in this game? Come on. That's it. Come on, let's just end this game now. Come on. Run the clock. That's it. There we go. Let's do a bit of time wasting. Yes, come on. Let's not lose the ball, though. We cannot. No, this is not what we wanted. No. No. Oh, thank you, Tostoygan. How the hell have we won this game? Flip <laughs> here now. Get in. Look at this. I'm not going to jump. I'm going to do this instead because 
last time I did that, I knocked the mic off, so I don't want to get too excited, but yeah. First, first victory, first cup. Yeah, go on. And also, that means we get a uh, a little bit of a, a morale boost as well. So hopefully that will annoy Real Madrid. Yeah! Woo! Championes, championes, ole, ole, ole. Championes, championes, ole, ole, ole. Good result. Good result. Josh will be gutted. Cheers, mate. Oh yeah, um, Lee Dong Jun, how's he been getting on? Yeah, you were you were good in the predictions. I'll give you that. I think you you helped me win that one. Paul Josh will be gutted he missed that. Right, we've got Mallorca next game. We have got a six point lead in the league as well. So we're on course for a, a, a double here. If we win this game, Real Madrid might just be destroyed now. They might lose their next league game and then we'll, we'll, we'll clinch the title in the Real Madrid game, hopefully. We don't need to win that game. Oh, okay, fair play. How much did, how much did um, that Korean player cost you? Was he cheap? Not too bad, 1.7 million and you're getting 10, you got 10 goals and 7 assists for him. I signed this winger um, for Rafe Rovers and he didn't start to start off with. But then he, he come into the first team uh, towards the middle of the season and he's been, he's been incredible for me. I can't remember his first name, but something Lopez. His first name begins with an E. Elazar Lopez or something like that, but he's he's really good for me for Rafe Rovers. Deli Ali's been really good for me with Rafe Rovers as well. Um, I've got I've got Rasmus Hoyland's brother up front. I managed to get him on loan from Copenhagen, I think it was, and he's been really good as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get any Esther to sign a new contract. Sign a new two year contract, that'd be good. Yeah, he probably just wants to stay where he is. I managed to sign Luis Suarez in my bar in my Newcastle save, um, when I signed Messi, Busquets and Alba as well. But he barely played for me. Because it was a couple of years into the save, so he was quite old at that point. He's not like Messi, who can who will stay a good player all the way through until he retires. Right then, let's see how we get on here. Oh, I think Real Madrid's winning by the looks of it. We're only four points clear now. Right, Martinez. First highlight goes to us. Let's see how we go on. Arujo. Iliax. I feel like we're slowly building up play here. I think I should have, I, I stupidly, I should have rotated a few players in this game. Ah, doesn't matter. Rafina. Udongan. Yamal. Oh, Cancelo nearly with a goal. Um, there's a player that plays for Congo. Um, the con in the Congo League. Have you got all the African? Bazinga, have you got all the African players loaded up? Like every single one, or is it? Or have you only got a certain amount? I'm only asking because he plays for Congo national team, and he's 
He's like a hidden gem. Um, I think his name's Diamangus Bazinga. I'll try and find him in a minute for you. I've got a document with his name on it. Right, Rafina. Yeo Felix. Rafina again. Beautiful cross to Roque, but misses it. In fact, I'm going to pause this game. Uh, I'll find you... I'm going to find you the player's name. FM Players, I think that's the one. Bloody hell. Um, right. So... I'll, I'll try and I'll try and give you some African players to look. I don't know whether they're because I've got loads of files with Wonder Kids on them, so these players might not be real players or might not be in your database. Um, but I'll just try and give you some of them in case they are worth getting. Uh, there's another one here. Oh, what have I done there? Uh, hold on. Oh, you sent me that. What have you sent? What's that screenshot you sent me? Oh, he's pretty good. Yeah, Ibrahim Sissoko. Um, there is. That's his name. Dio Gracias Bazinga. I don't know whether you'll have him, but if you do, sign him because he's pretty good and he's pretty cheap. He might have already signed for somebody else. Um, there's Nafanyu Nawasu. As well, he's a he's a good goalkeeper. Um, there's this player here as well. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, there we go. Um, and there's him as well. I don't know if there's any others. There's these three. Whether there'll be any good now that there's been an update for it, I don't know. There's them three as well. Yeah, some of them are might have, some of them might have transferred to proper clubs in real life. This is quite an old list I've got. Yeah. Um, let me just have a look. See if there's any other. List. I swear I've got a specific list for African players. Yeah, I oh know, it's African teams. Oh, I don't know them. But yeah, there's a few players there, mate. If I think of any more, I'll let you know. Right, let's crack on. We've got six people in the Twitch chat now. Come and say hello. Don't just leave it up to uh, Bazinga. That's it, get in, 1 0. Come and say hello if you're brave enough. We're here for another 45 minutes, so join in the fun. The real test is to see if I can handle uh, not having to rush to the toilet for a, uh, for, a, for a whiz before the end of this stream. That is the real test on this save. When you say eating outside, do you mean having like a picnic, Bazinga? Or do you mean um, going to a restaurant but you eat outside? Oh, nice little bit of passing going on here. Get in, Rafina. 2 0. We're making this look easy here. Oh. Poor interception there. Oh, beautiful bit of one two there. Get in. Mika Fay. Second goal of the season. He's having a great debut season, he is. His ratings, his potential's still not good though, which is rubbish. He should be getting better potential now. He's only 19. Gundongan with uh, three assists. Maybe I'm a bit hasty getting rid of him. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. Nando's is always good though, mate. I love a bit of Nando's. I usually have the boneless chicken fries and I have the halloumi fries. And I also have the uh, the, the very lightly peri-peri fries as well. 
So my go-to Nando's order is, I think it's like, is it five, five boneless chicken thighs? Um, I have some halloumi fries, and then I have some. I have two boxes of the peri peri fries because I'm a greedy git. Oh, they get a consolation goal before third. Oh, I thought it was the end of the game. It's only the first half. Who's that Cameroon player? Because you haven't got his name on there. The screenshot you sent me hasn't got his name on Bazinga. Right, Yarrow Felix. And so, um, if you can hear the uh, the car alarm in the background, I do apologise. It's been going on for about ten minutes now. Mm, Smoky Chirosco. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Jazino, never heard of him. Jazino Nezami. I'll have a look in a minute. See if he's any good on this. Not that I can bring him in because I'm not buying any non Barcelona players other than obviously Deli Ali. Because I sign him in every single one of my sales. Right. First half ended winning 4 1. We'll uh, put Deli on it. Deli Ali on at some point for Yeo Felix. Oh, that's good then. At least he's doing well for you. I love signing African players like hidden gem African players, and then they go on to become superstars. Oh, that's why I love the French league because that's what they're about, and they they're a talent factory. We are still six points clear of Real Madrid. If we beat Real Madrid, we'll be nine points clear with three games to go. So, unless they balls up now, and then we'll be all right. Right, Yaya Felix, you're coming off. Where's Dele Ali? Where are you, Mr. Ali? There you are. Uh, we'll leave that for that for now. We definitely need to get some Barca born. Barca Academy, former Barca Academy centre-backs in the summer, I think. Because the fact that we're playing De Jong in defence is not good. Is Carlos Pollo still playing football? No, probably not. Penalty to us. Is Deli Ali going to take it? Come on. Penalty awarded. Is Deli Ali going to take it? No, it's going to be De Jong. What were you saying note to? Sorry, I can't remember where we were in the conversation, Bazinga. My energy levels are crashed. <laughs> I'm a bit tired now. I've been up since about half six this morning. I've done a, I've done three days worth of YouTube videos and then I had like an hour before I had to start streaming, so I'm quite tired. Right, we're near five one. We're gonna corner. Less than ten minutes to go. Still got the ball, Arujo drives it forward. Oh, I thought. Oh, okay. Right, Rafina's injured. We're down to ten men, but we're still winning, so it's fine. Are you doing anything exciting tonight, Bazinga, or just relaxing? I can't remember what you said. You said you're going to see your girlfriend, didn't you? Say hello, to, say hello to Mrs. Bazinga from me. Tell her she's always welcome to come and join us in the Twitch chat. She doesn't need to watch. She doesn't need to be a fan of Football Manager. I can talk to her about anything. I want to get more. I want to get more female viewers anyway. Help helps with my diversity profile. We get, we get all genders here. Ah, oh, Rafina's out for three months. That's a wounder.
Right, big game coming up now in a minute. Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Could be the league title decider. Actually, no, it won't be the league title decider because we're only six points clear and we've got three games after the Real Madrid game. But it will help our chances. No, she don't need to play, mate. She can just chat to she can just chat to you on here, and I'll just chime in every so often. You two can go back and forth um, with the banter, and I'll just I'll just join in. Right, here we go. Line up for the big game of the season. Biggest game of the season so far. Tostigan in goal. Cancelo was right back. Arujo and Martinez in defence. Left back is Balde. And then Godongan and De Jong in midfield with Fran Torres on the right. Pedri in the middle. Yeah, Felix on the left. And Rico, Vitor Ru, Roque, sorry, up front. Yeah, my girlfriend loves spicy food as well. Um, my girlfriend is a non practicing. Hindu Indian woman, so she's used to being around spice. Her mom is a practicing Hindu woman, so um, she's yeah she's used to all sorts of spices. I'm a bit of a wuss. I my my favorite curry used to be a chicken korma um, because I didn't really like anything too hot and spicy. But I've had I've had um, since I've been with her I've had a chicken tikka, a chicken balti, and a chi uh, a jalfrezi and a and a uh, uh, madras. So uh, my spice level is going up slightly. I'll never be one of them crazy people that eats peppers and and that like eats raw peppers. I don't understand people like that. Let's let's stop talking about food. Come on, I'm hungry. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Um, yeah, get in. Go on, Rito, Rito, uh, Vito Roque. I was going to ask you what your prediction is, mate, but we were we we were too late. I'm winning one nil. Um, did Spurs? Did who? Did Spurs win over the weekend? I can't remember who did they play. Um, Bazinga. I can't remember who they played. Oh, could they get an equaliser here? Oh, to start you should have done better with that. Right. Alaba, at the corner. We get rid of it. We're doing very well defensively again. We're keeping them at bay. Oh, yeah. Was it a good game? Did you watch the highlights? I, I haven't watched Match of the Day yet for both days. I watched the first half of the Man United game, but... It was on like a dodgy stream and it kept cutting out and I just got bored and I got fed up. So I'll just watch match of the day. I'm not paying 25 quid a month for bloody BT Sports. They can bugger off. Right, can we get another goal before the first half ends? Put the pressure on Real Madrid then. Come on, let's play. Let's play well defensively. We've been doing well so far. Good, good, good. Yeah, he probably wouldn't, would he? Because it's obviously his former club. He's being respectful. But it's a good thing that Richarlison's uh, scoring, isn't it? Because obviously, under the previous management team, he didn't really score at all, did he? So it's good that that, that the manager's getting the best out of him. My dad wasn't a fan of Rich Olderson. Um, um he, he is he is more of a fan of him now, but still undecided, he said. I spoke to him last week about it. I said, Oh, I said, Are you a fan of Rich Olderson now? And he went, 
He said the jury's still out on him. So I think he might change his mind by the end of the season. But you don't want him to get really good because then he'll go to a, like a like a Barcelona Real Madrid, won't he? Or he'll probably go to Arsenal, <laughs> Arsenal or Man City at some point, or Liverpool. Then again, I think you're just as good as Liverpool, really, to be honest. Liverpool's going to come and stuck when Klopp leaves. They're going to go back to being a top six team. They're um, this is probably the last season they've got a chance of winning the title for a long time. I could be wrong. The new manager might come along and rejuvenate the team but I just think they haven't got the finances to buy players as much as they used to um, Klopp performed miracles with the squad that he had to be honest get in go on Roque fifth goal of the season we're going to win the title we are going to win the title Yeah, that's not too bad though. Fifty-five quid for Sky. My Sky bill, annoyingly, even though I got rid of Sky Cinema last month, I, it was supposed to be sixty-seven quid a month instead of eighty quid. But because my broadband deals expired, they've now said the best deal they can do is ten quid more a month than I was paying already. I'm not. I'm not paying ten quid or more a month for my bloody same broadband. They don't care about their customers these days. They're just greedy bastards. I don't like them. Oh, God. They've got one back. They've got one back. Squeaky bum time. Squeaky, squeaky bum time. Right, we've got five minutes to go. Actually, to be honest, Real Madrid have been very unlucky not to get a, uh, a win out of this game. They're all over us. Well done, though. Get in. <laughs> We've won the title. We've won the prem. We've won the the Spanish league. Twenty million to spend. Right. Let's see if we can get Messi now. Probably won't be able to get Messi. I'm probably going to holiday the next couple of games. I think there is no point in me playing them. So what I'll do is I'll holiday to the twenty seventh of the fifth. And then we will go for Lionel Messi. There we go. Yeah, true. I know what you mean, Bazinga. But we've won the title. So I'm more I'm more than happy about that. We did very well. I'm just for I'm just forward it holidaying through the next the next three league games. There's no point. We've already won the title. So and then I'm gonna try and go for Lionel Messi. I've only got twenty million though. So I don't think we'll have the wage budget or the finances. Why can't you holiday? Oh as in you don't like holidaying, you don't do it. Oh okay, I see what you mean now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you like near the bot? Are you near the bottom of the of the league then? Oh, I got a new subscriber on YouTube. Thank you to my new subscriber if you're watching. What's his name or her name? Uh, thank you to. Oh, it's a bloody fake profile. I've got excited for nothing there. Ugh. I don't want fake profiles, thank you. You're not going to be watching any of my videos. Oh, well. It's another subscriber, though. It all adds. Oh, you're in 8th place. So why are you worried about... Why are you worried about surviving League One?
Oh, okay, yeah, so the pressure's on you. Have you got have you got the owner of Chelsea as the owner of Strasbourg? Have they finally they finally updated it so he's the owner? Or part of the ownership team there? Because I know in real life he's part of the ownership team there. Can't believe Neil Warnock's managing Aberdeen at 75 years old. Fair play to the old bugger. Still life in the old dog yet. Um, sorry to anybody else watching on Twitch. I'm just holidaying to the end of the season. I've already won the title. There was three games left. There was a bit of a gap between the last game and then Real Betis. So hopefully the next three games go relatively quickly and we can just get through it before I end the stream for today. I've got another 25 minutes left of the stream. Thank you to um, Bazinga and Josh for, um, for um, talking and stuff chatting and stuff obviously the more people we get chatting the better try i want to try and create a community where we all just have a good laugh when i watch me playing football manager oh it is the chelsea owner okay because i started a strasbourg save ages ago with the, with it being hoping that it was there the owner uh the the chelsea owner but then every every file that i downloaded data update didn't have him as the owner I'm just uh, checking out the latest football news while I'm waiting. Nothing worth mentioning. Obviously, Mbappe might be going to Real Madrid, but that 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 rumor comes up every week. Apparently, Leon Bailey might be signing a new contract with Aston Villa. That'd be a good boost for Villa fans. That's it, really. Not much else in the news. I'm curious who's going to take over at Liverpool because everyone assumes it's Alonso, but it might not be. Alonso might not want to go there. It's a bit of a poison chalice, as they say. A lot of pressure on anybody that comes to manage Liverpool. Is uh, Kevin uh, Gamero still playing, is he? I remember him playing for... I remember managing him in another save years ago, and I can't remember who was... Uh, who did he used to play for? Let's have a look, actually. I'll have a look myself. So he originally started at Strasbourg. So uh he's come full circle now. I think it I think it was Lorient I managed. Uh no, was it? Mm, maybe. He's done really well though. Went to Lorient, then PSG, then Sevilla, then Atletico Madrid. He scored quite still was consistently scoring. And then at Valencia, and then back at Strasbourg. So fair play to him. How old is he? Still quite young, isn't he? I know he's 36, well, I'm about. Oh, he's, well, he's young compared to me, um, but yeah, not in football terms, I suppose. Oh, right, holiday's ended, so that means we are finished here, so let's have a look. Hold on, let me just see. Yeah, he's had a decent career though, hasn't he? Fair play to him. Right, let's see how we get on here. Let's see how we did at the end of these three fixtures that we played. Hoyland's brother... Um, I know I can't sign him, can I? He's doing well for me in my Rafe Rover save. I have this gentleman here on loan for 
um, Rafe Rovers, he's doing really well. So anybody that's uh, a decent team, mid-premiership team, probably take a punt on him. Actually, in fact, Bazinga. Oh, yeah, no worries, mate. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll um, I'll be back on tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Cheers, buddy. And thanks for your support, as always. Nice chatting to you. Enjoy your evening with you with your partner. I'll be back on at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Right then, let's just finish this and then I'll probably call it a day, I reckon. Actually, no, I'm going to try and sign Messi first, see if that's possible. Right, I win the... Yeah, that's true. Why is Yamal on the transfer list and him? My assistant man, my director of football makes some silly decisions at times. Cafe, and that's fine. But it was a long term injury, there. right? So we won that game 3 1. Um, we're not going to be able to keep any of them on loan. Let's praise him. See, if we terminate them loans, I don't think they'll let us terminate these loans. We desperately need a right back though, because Cancelo is really good, but we can't can't terminate his loan. We probably can't terminate his loan. Oh, we can. We can terminate Felix's loan, so that'll free up some wage. Gundongan out for three weeks. Can we try it? Right, so he's wanted now by Lazio, so can we try and sell him? Will he go to Lazio? Yeah, so we won the uh, reserves title as well. So yeah, Yamal is not on the move. We're gonna get him a new contract, I think. Yeah, we'll change that. Atletico Bilbao next game. Did we beat them? Uh, yeah, we did 4 0. Oh, no, sorry, 0 0. That was a reserves game. Yeah, Iniesta did well. He really surprised me. Um, he didn't play often, but when he did, he, he showed a bit of class still. He showed everybody he could still do it. Uh, oh, okay, that's fine. That's all right. So knowing the Gadong goes out for three weeks as I'm trying to sell him. Yep. Okay. We'll praise you just as we're going to kick you out the door. Collective bonus payout. Oh. And dent the finances further. 175 bloody million. Ugh. Hopefully we'll get like some sort of... Right, how much wage have we got? Okay, hold on, let's skip this now. Because then um, we haven't got Felix here now. He's gone. Yeah, your Kinsella was probably on a decent wage here as well. Right, that's made a big difference. We do that. Right, let's see if we can sign Messi. If I can only sign him and nobody else in the summer, I'd be alright with that. I'd be okay. Um, uh, hold on, let's try this. Okay, they're happy with that. Come on, Messi, Messi, please. Yes! Right, can we sign him though? Star player, he's willing to... T oh yes, get in. Um, we will have enough money to sign him. Oh, I don't want to get too excited. Do I leave it on a cliffhanger for the next stream? I think I might. What are we do? How are we doing for time? Hmm. Nah, I'll just keep going. We'll see if we can sign them. If I can sign him, I'm going to try and get Busquets and Jordi Alba in after that.
I'll be buzzing if we actually managed to pull this off because I didn't think we'd be able to sign him. When he when he about six, when we tried in January when he said we didn't have the finances for him to sign, I was getting a bit sad thinking we're not going to sign him. Hopefully we sign him, and uh, that'll be that. Uh, no, reconsider. We want you to stay, especially if we're bringing in. Yeah, we need you to stay as well. Hopefully we can keep in the Esther on. I don't think we will though because he usually retires after one season. Oh, he will consider it though, but I don't think he will change his mind. Right, we've got 20 minutes left. Um, if we don't, if Messi doesn't make a decision by that point, we will save it and we'll have to wait until tomorrow. So I'm assuming he will, because how quick I get through these. He will probably sign for us. And we will all be happy. Okay, that's a poor offer for Gundongan. Mm, eight and a half. There we go. I'm alright with that. Um... Simmons won the Newcomer of the Year. I don't know how Barcelona got rid of him. Right. Pedri, Ferran Torres, Gudongan, Rafina, and Tostagan were our best shirt sellers. Our overall team of the year was Tostagan in goal, Cancelo was right back, Arujo and Martinez, um, Balde on the left. Gavi and De Jong in the middle, Fran Torres, Pedri, Rafina, and Vitor Roque. Unfortunately, not Deli Alli, which is sad. Rafina got the player of the, the year. Balde got the young player of the year. Signing the season was Mariba. Pedri got the goal of the season. Top goal scorer was Fran Torres with 16. Rafina got the most assists and also best average rating. Um, yeah, so we don't really need to bother that. Right, yeah, that's fine. It's only 250 grand. We'll, we're all right with that. Nick of Faye's okay. We're playing as left back. That's fine. That's fine as well. Torres. Uh... Poor Josh is going to miss all this. Right. Okay, let's leave it with that for now. I'm hoping the board will just inject a massive amount of money into the club. Prop us up because the finances are not very good at Barcelona and they're going to be worse in a minute once I sign the GOAT, the greatest of all time. <gasps> we've done it, we've done it, everyone. We've finally done it. We've brought him back. Right, let's just keep going now. When's he signing for us? 1st of July. Let's get to the 1st of July as quick as possible now. Get in. We've finally done it. The The, the, the journey doesn't end now just because we've signed him. We've now got to play him. And we've got to try and win some more stuff with Messi. Hopefully another champions. Hopefully we can bring Champions League back to Barcelona. Hopefully Messi can bring us the Champions League. Dundongan out the door. You did all right near the end of the season, but you you know you're out the door now. We need to we need that money to strengthen in other areas. Ah, that's a shame. Has he made his decision though? Did he actually make his decision? Uh, what's he want to do now? Coaching course. Let's see if we can get him as a coach. Oh, he's a terrible coach. Not very good at all. I will not retain him as a coach. Uh, I'll leave them. I've got to remember to get rid of Lenglet as well. Then again, uh, we might need to keep Lenglet. All 
Right, let's keep going. So he's going to take his beat. Hopefully, he'll become a better coach because they're shocking attributes for one of the greatest of all time. I'm hoping as well to keep Messi on as like a coach, even if he's. Attributes are not very good just because I, I want him at the club for the rest of his life. Joshy, Josh, Josh, are you still there, mate? Have you just realised what we've done? We've won the title, we've won the Copa del Rey since you've been gone, and we've also signed the GOAT. We've done the objective that we needed to do. We needed to bring Messi in. That's the whole point of the save. Now the fun the now the fun begins. I don't know how long we got Messi for though. He might retire after a year or two. Hello, anybody else in the Twitch chat? I've finally achieved my objective. The main objective of this save was to sign Lionel Messi. He is coming to the club in my second season in charge of Barcelona. He will be signed in the... He will be arriving the 1st of July. We did it. I didn't think we were able to do it, but we managed to do it, so I'm very happy. One of our players from our youth intake. And here's the other one. We could do with a decent centre back, so hopefully he'll turn out alright. Mm, yeah, got a decent value, so hopefully he'll turn out to be a good player. Yamal signed a new contract. Messi can mentor him, hopefully. Turn him into the new Messi. Is he on a, Is he in our team or was he a former player? I think he's a former player, isn't he? Oh, no, he, no, he is our player. That's good. Hopefully we can put him into the first team when he comes back. In fact, I might just leave it. We know he's signing for us. So, what time's it now? Mm. I'll give it another five more minutes. I'm, I, I don't think my bladder can handle much longer. How much wage are we paying for him? Bloody yeah, hell, we're paying him 220 flipping grand a week. Can I terminate the loan now? No, I can't. That will help a lot with our finances. But it does mean we've got to try and get right back. And it's got to be a former Barcelona player. Have Barcelona produced any academy players as right backs, maybe? Right, let's have a look. Uh, scouting. Uh, players. Edit search. Right back. Oh, it looks okay ish. Sergio Roberto. Maybe we could bring him as a stopgap for now. We could bring him in, but he's injured. He's out for six, three, six more, so he's not he's not a possible. He's not good enough. Maybe him, C minus. Cheap, twenty hundred and sixty five grand. Oh, we haven't got any wages, have we? Messi's completely cleared us out. There we go, we'll do that. Done. 
Uh, all right. We're losing a lot of money at Barcelona. I'm hoping Messi signing will get us a hell of a lot of shirt sales. Should do, shouldn't it? There we go. So this is the financial side of things now. We've got 197 sponsorship. Yeah. Messi should boost shirt sales, shouldn't he? That will help with finances. We've got 36 million in the bank. Ugh. Not promising, is it? Because that 36 million will be gone within seconds. Let's have a look at the projection. Uh, projections are alright. I don't think they're going to stay like that. I can't imagine it. By the end of the season, it won't be like that. Oh, that's an interesting offer. Can we oh, can we suggest that instead? Oh, hold on, it's getting interesting here. We might be able to... Ah, oh, we got greedy. We got greedy. Okay. Fine, we'll just keep you then. Can we extend your loan? No. We haven't got the money to sign you either. You're right, Josh. Do you want me to tell you what you've missed? Have you been watching, though? Uh, he decides to uh, retire. I hope I don't think Iniesta's made his final decision yet, though. So I won the Copa del Rey. I beat Real Madrid, and then I won the league title, beating Real Madrid in the in that game to decide to win us the title. And then I signed uh, a gentleman called um, Lionel Messi. I managed to sign him. So yeah, so he comes first of July. So we've managed to hit the objectives I wanted to hit. So the fun begins now, because now we've got a year or two with him. Hopefully I can bring Busquets and Jordi Alba back as well. But we've got to prioritise right backs, because we haven't, so I've had to sign Sergio Roberto as a bit of a stopgap for this season. Yeah, I got him. I finally got him. I was buzzing, mate. I was gutted you weren't there. It wasn't your fault. I know you're working and stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to forward to the 1st of July so we can see him rejoin the club. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to call it a day. So I'm just trying to get this done as quick as possible. I stupidly tried to negotiate a deal for a Rougeau PSG come in. And they offered me like 45. I tried to negotiate it to 80. They offered me 60 plus add-ons. And then I tried to negotiate to 80 and they weren't having it. And they rejected it. I was like, ah. I'm usually pretty good with negotiations. How did your meeting go? Did it go all right? We've got six people in the Twitch chat now, most we've had all day, so come and say hello. Don't be don't be shy. If there's anything you want to know about the save, let me know. Works work though, innit? Right. I bet you're counting the minutes now until you finish. I'm hoping that Messi will bring us a Champions League title when he rejoins. If he's got two seasons, maybe at the most, 
Um, hopefully, in the two seasons he's there, he can win us the Champions League and then retire on top. That'd be nice. And then by that point, I'm hoping that the like Gavi and Pedri come into their prime years. And we've got Anzu Fatty coming back as well. And obviously any young players that come through the academy and the youth intakes. They keep telling me to... Oh, no, I don't want to extend his loan. All right. Are you looking forward to your spat bowl then, um, um, Josh? Why are we... Uh... Hold on. Why are Barcelona in the first qualifying round when we won the Spanish League? What? How's that? Josh, can you explain to me what the hell's happened there? Why are we not in the group stages? Why don't you ask Spagbol another day then and then you can just put something, just, just, just chuck something in the oven for 20 minutes and just do Spagbol tomorrow. Order a takeaway. Why don't you see if there's any uh, Italian places that will send you a Spagbol in the delivery I'm really annoyed that we're having to be in the qualifying round of the Champions League. It's an insult to, to the Spanish League, isn't it? Oh yeah, Bazinga had to go, Josh. So that's why you're not, he's not in there now. But you probably already knew that because you probably read the previous messages. Come on, let's get the 1st of July now. Oh, hold on. I've had a sale on the eBay, I think. Have I? Oh, we have. I've sold a Nike hoodie for 20 quid. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Every little helps, I need the money, so that's good. Oh, it's dragging these, these days are dragging processing through these now. Just want to get to the 1st of July. I don't want a holiday though, because in case something cocks up. Right, 22nd of June, come on, let's go. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, no, fine. <sighs> right, we're nearly there. Nearly, uh, no. Uh, let's try and sell him. I wish Gerard Pico was still playing football. I'll try and sign him back as well. Um, anybody wants to know, I'll either be posting the replay of this stream on YouTube tonight or probably tomorrow. Um, so check on my YouTube channel tomorrow, you should be able to find it on there.
Sorry I'm a bit quiet, I'm just trying to get these days processed as quickly as possible. Just so we can get the unveiling of the goat. Balde finally gets his first goal for Spain, well done. Former Juventus striker David Trezeguet, very very good scout. Played for River Plate at one point as well, if I remember. I think he's half French and half Argentinian. I think that's the case. In fact, it probably won't tell me on here. Oh, it might do. Yeah, there you go. Other nationalities, Argentina. I think that's why he went to play for Real River Plate near the end. He was a good little player, Trezeguet. I think he was overshadowed by Thierry Henry in the uh, French team, though. But he was very good on his day. In his day. Right, not long now. A couple of days to go. Come on. The moment we've all been waiting for on this save. Josh, are you watching? Are you still there? Wakey, wakey. I think Josh has fallen asleep. He said he's so tired, and then I think he's literally dozed off. That's what I'm imagining has just happened. Right, uh, come on, getting closer, countdown begins, oh, oh, we're getting closer now, come on, let's hurry up, oh no, Pedro, Pedro's contract expires, but, Pedro, get, there you go, but, Pedro, Oh, okay. Well, we can't we can't do anything about it anyway. Oh, he's already signing for them for two point six million. Ignore me. I feel like such a fool now. Oh, I can't wait for my bloody girlfriend to get home from work. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Salivating with the thought of burgers and chips. I'm going to put some sliced cheese in there as well. I'm going to make some cheeseburgers. Bonk a bit of red sauce in the bun. Jobs are good. Why have we why have we got rid of him? He's a really good uh Okay. Right. We might sign into a new contract, right. Hopefully, uh, not long now. I'm going to be, once this is done. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, if she really wants it, maybe she should make it herself. Or you put your foot down, Josh. No, I'm joking. I'm not, I'm only joking. I don't want you to get in trouble. Right, can we get them? Oh, no. Um, right, let's see if we can get them, actually. I'll leave it as that then. Right. Once this goes to the next day, 1st of July, we shall show you all Lionel Messi. There we go. Oh, there we go. I've just uh, I've just got a new achievement. We've made a new signing that the, the fans Look at that, A+. Plus. Excited about the signing of Lionel Messi. Uh, excited about the signing of such a talented and important player. Delighted to welcome a club legend. There we go. The Barca fans are ecstatic, Josh. Not so much about um, Sergio, Sergio Roberto. They're like, yeah, he's all right, I suppose. Not happy with Ibrahim Diara. But that was already agreed. 
without my say so, so. Let's have a look. Look at him and all. I'm, I'm good he's in a bloody PSG shirt. He should be in a Barcelona shirt. Right, how long are we going for? So we're going for two years. Let's just see if he's got any. Oh, we'll send him on a coaching course just in case. Um. Oh, he could have played for Spain, obviously. Um, right, retired from international football. No plans for the future. That's good. Right. Let's check out the other signings we've made. Sergio Roberto. He'll do his right back cover. He's quite versatile. We also signed this gentleman here as a right back cover. He's not very good, but he'll do his emergency cover. Um, Josh, if I had the time, I would happily play you as a network game. Now I've got a girlfriend, and I stream, and I create content, and I do my other stuff as well. I, I pretty much don't have the time to do it. Um, you know, I might be able to do the odd the odd night on a week, a couple of hours or something, but I really don't have time now, mate. Sorry. You had all that chance that you had all that time to play me a network game. I was asking you all the time. And you were too busy. And now I've got a bloody girlfriend. Now you want to play. No, I'm really messing, mate. Generally, generally jokes aside, if I, had, if I had the time, I will. But, yeah. Right. I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go through these quickly. Um, have we got Lionel Messi as our captain? He's vice captain. I suppose that'll do. Penalties? Is he definitely on penalties? We need to change this. There we go. Right then, that is me done for today. Yeah, Josh, we'll figure it out at some point, mate. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, cheers for sticking around, Josh. Cheers for contributing, as always. We've finally done it, mate. We've finally completed the mission. We've got two years with Lionel Messi now. And then in the meantime, we can try and hopefully get the other young players up and running. But yeah, right, that's me done. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, Josh. Thank you to Bazinga. I know he's not here, he's gone. But thank you to Bazinga. Uh, thanks to anybody else that watched. And yeah, all the best. Enjoy uh, the rest of your evening. Cheers. Bye.